With the outbreak of COVID-19 in the United States, many states and local governments have put out mandatory mask mandates, making it required that masks be worn out in public. Masks have been proven to stop the spread of COVID-19 by reducing the amount of respiratory droplets caused by coughing, sneezing, singing, talking, and breathing by 50 to 70%. Additionally, in a study of more than 1,000 participants in Thailand, 70% of participants reduced the risk of infection by wearing a mask compared to those who didn't. Masks for the use of preventing diseases have been dated all the way back to plague masks in 17th century Europe and have been seen mandated in the U.S. as recently as 1918 during the flu pandemic. I believe we should wear masks when we are in public. Although they are not entirely capable of preventing the spread of COVID-19, there are people who are not making full recoveries and there are people who are dying. So if it is possible for us to prevent even a couple people from getting um, this infection, I believe we should take full advantage of that. Since the inception of mask mandates starting in the spring of 2020, many people have wondered whether or not these mandates and forcing people to wear masks in public is constitutional. Many people see it as taking away their constitutional right to choose, and they see it as an overstep of the government. When asked about the lack of masks at a Trump rally in Tulsa, Vice President Mike Pence responded with, I want to remind you again, freedom of speech and the right to peaceably assemble is in the Constitution of the United States. Even in a health crisis, the American people don't forfeit our constitutional rights. Do you think there should be a national mask mandate? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea because it's it's unconstitutional. Everybody has a right to do you know what they feel. It's under the Constitution. On the flip side, others see masks as a necessary precaution to be taken to help slow the spread of COVID-19, along with other precautionary measures such as social distancing and self-quarantining. They don't see it as having their right to choose or, or their constitutional rights taken away from them. They see it as protection against the pandemic. Brian, would you like to see um, a national mask mandate? Yes, I would. I really would. I, I think that uh, based upon my experience and knowing the 20 people who I formerly work with who have died from this uh, COVID disease, I would. I think that that is a reasonable suggestion, and I think we should uh, adhere to it. At a first glance. There is nothing in the Constitution that says the government can mandate wearing masks, but that doesn't mean there is no way that, man that mask mandates can be constitutional. Amendment 10 of the Constitution says that the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited to it by, the, by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. This means that powers not given to the federal government by the Constitution are powers reserved to the state governments. The power to pass a mask mandate is not expressly stated in the Constitution. Therefore, states are well within their rights to pass them. Another part of the Constitution that supports the passing of mask mandates is Article 1, Section 8, Clause 1, which states, The Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises, to pay debts, and provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States. The last part, and provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States, is where the power to mandate masks comes in. The general welfare of the United States includes protecting the health and safety of the U.S. public, thus making it reasonable to assume that making it mandatory to wear masks in public is a protection of the health and safety of the U.S. public. Finally, Article 1, Section 8, Clause 18, otherwise known as the Necessary and Proper Clause, provides ample support for mask mandates. To make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution the foregoing powers and all other powers vested by this Constitution in the Government of the United States or in any department or officer thereof. As stated in the necessary, necessary and Proper Clause, the U.S. Government is able to make laws that are necessary and proper for carrying out the powers expressed in Article 1, Section 8. As seen in the current climate of this country, Masks have been necessary for Congress to be able to meet and perform the duties given to them in Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution. There is nothing in the Constitution that strictly forbids the passing of a mask mandate or makes it so that it is unconstitutional. So, we pose this question to our President and new Congress. How constitutional are mask mandates? <laughs>